Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a quick video about a couple things that I've been working on the last week. So I picked up a Televideo TS802 uh, CPM computer. The cool thing about this is that it has a hardware terminal built right in. So that had me thinking that I should develop a website that would be supported by VT100 and compatible terminals, as well as other computers that I have. So on the right is my Televideo, and I have it displaying my website right now. There isn't a lot going on right now, but it's more proving that it can work. Both of these computers, the PET and the Televideo, are hooked up to Wi-Fi uh, RS-232 modems that I made. So on here I can navigate my website. I can play around with it. Both of these computers are connected via Telnet to a Linux machine that I have. Uh, the one on the right is running Lynx, which is a CLI uh, command line interface browser. Uh, one cool thing that I wanted to try to see if I can figure out is how to check and respond to emails on my vintage computers. Since I'm always on them so often, I wanted to see how useful I can make them. On the pet, I'm also talented into the uh, Linux machine, and I'm going to be running a program called MUT, which is a command line uh, email client. So now it's syncing my mailbox. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's loading my emails now. So using MUT, I can I can view emails, I can respond to emails, I can forward emails. It's really like an Outlook client for your terminal, which is compatible with all my vintage computers. The PET is using a VT100 uh, setting. Uh, the one on the right, the television, is a TVI950. So let's make a new email. I'm going to send an email to myself. to figure out what the at sign is. So now we're in nano, which is we're going to just send an email, test, close. Exit. Yes. Enter. So now we're going to send the email. My watch is right next to the uh, camera, so it should ping in a second when the message is received. Okay, so it's not sending. Send another one. Sending it to my other email, maybe my phone is having issues. Test. Exit. Save. Yes. There we go. I heard my phone buzz. So that was the email that came in. Now let's take a look on the computer on the right. So right now it's loaded up to my website, which is kirkcom.space. It's compatible with most 40 column and 80 column displays that I've tried it with. But the cool thing about this is that I can go on other websites too. So right now I'm loading up Google on the terminal. It's very limited, but you can search for things. So we're going to allow cookies. And there we go, we're on Google. I'm gonna move the camera closer. So let's do a search for this televideo. We're gonna to go to the search. Televideo TS802. We're gonna search. So now, the old computers.com museum web page for the TS-802 loaded. And the cool thing is that I can do this on any of my retro computers I own that are compatible with my modems. So even on the pet, when I'm done with the email, I can exit out and I can do the same thing. Loading up my website on the pet. As you can see, it looks great supports my ASCII characters quite well. 
and I can scroll down as well. And that's it. So that's just a couple cool things that I've been playing with. Um, I'm working with somebody uh, named Dave. Dave Duke, he's developing a chat program which is going to be compatible with all 8-bit machines, which is going to offer live IRC-like chat as well as an interactive game where you can you can talk to people online, you can see people when they enter the room. It's kind of like an adventure uh, game, but it's going to be online and multiplayer. That's really all I have for today, and thanks. Bye.